An iconic Grand Rapids figure will be honored again with a landmark update. Jackson Bruner tells us about the connection between Wizard of the Oz star Dorothy and this city as it celebrates its 125th year anniversary. We've probably generated 20, 30 million dollars of publicity for the town free because of Judy Garland, Garland, the power of that name. When she was born in Grand Rapids in 1922, her name was Frances Ethel Gum. At an older age, she and her sisters toured the country as a theater act. And eventually, Frances made it big, changing her name to Judy Garland in the process. And thanks to her role as Dorothy in the world-famous film The Wizard of Oz, it's a name everyone remembers. It helps the town's image. A Grand Rapids museum features original set pieces, a replicated version of the gum home, and a yellow brick road, built there and outside of the old Central School. Since the movie's 50th anniversary in 1989, the bricks have been personally engraved. A lot of them have um, W-O-Z on almost everything because they were Wizard of Oz fans. Orders for bricks will be accepted by the museum and Itasca County Historical Society through June 1st. When you get there, there's two sections that are almost totally full and the rest of them have spaces left. And then one section we're leaving um, open. Crow says it would be wise to act now because after that date passes, the road will be left alone for good. In Grand Rapids, Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.